congratulations. Thank you. Not just one, but two of, two of your roles yeah. being honored tonight. How's that feel? Feels great, man. Um, much less to have one, but two. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis, I think in 86 or 88, and uh, Dean Stockwell both got Best Supporting Actor from the Critics Circle for two films. And that's the only two since 1969. So there's two roles I did last year, and they sort of they keep giving, you know, a year later. And then remind us again, I mean, just how different these two roles are, maybe. Like, you know, the fact to be honored for both of these roles, but they are two different characters. Yeah, they're two, but they were two very obsessed individuals. And, and so I've been kind of thinking about the commonality between the two. And one, they're incredibly obsessed, clearly motivated, very ambitious. But one was a poet capitalist and one was an ambitious prosecutor. But they both had a, one very singular-minded goal in mind, and they would sort of were lightning rods on the way to that, you know, and movable forces. So I just... Do you sort of... Is there a special thing as an actor to, to sort of mentally or physically prepare for award season now when you're being honored and recognized for, for such a great thing? Um, so many questions and interviews. Well, I'll purpose. say this, you know, and, and uh, this is more fun because I've already done the work. So I'm here talking about, I'm not really here selling something. On a junket, I would talk to you and I'm promoting the film. I'm not promoting anything. I actually, I won. <laughs> it's great. So I'm here, I'm here to talk about something that you and everyone else already knows about. And we're all here going, hey, we're recognizing what we think is the year's good work. So let's talk about what was already done. So that's already, this is easy. All right, so to be honored tonight by New York Film Critics, how does it feel? It, it's, it feels amazing, particularly because I didn't think anybody had seen The Deep Blue Sea. It's a tiny film, and uh, I was c completely taken aback that anyone had seen it, let alone were giving it an award. So it's amazing because it means a light will be shone on, on this film, The Deep Blue Sea, and more people will get to see it, which is very cool. Definitely. I mean, um, and then not only that, but to also be uh, recognized at the Golden Globe. Sunday's a big night, right? Yeah. Sunday, I am nominated. You have the dress already all picked out? I don't have the dress picked out Yeah, I have to start. Well, because I didn't have a, a dress. I, I mean, I had no idea I was going to get nominated, so it all just... i got to find one this week. Yeah. yeah. The clock is ticking, right? The clock is ticking, yeah. <laughs> Tonight, we, we of course, featuring you on ET from Palm Springs, <laughs> where you played, I think, a little bit of a correspondent for us, right? When Martin Sheen came yes. around and Mary Hart had to run off. Well, yes, You're Mary left. Mike Mary right. left, and so Marty and I took over because we 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 could do that. <laughs> You're pros. You're We're pros. pros. Yeah. And how does it feel to be honored uh, tonight for this role? Uh, this role that you were so good in and you fought for. I mean, how does it feel? I'm very proud to be part of Lincoln. I, I, it'll take me a long time to want to take Mary Todd Lincoln's shoes off. Um, I, I would just as soon have them and her close to my heart always. I think she will be. This whole, whole experience has been. And that it's the New York film critics, which, you know, is creme de la creme. Tell me about the, the dedication. I mean, it's, it's amazing to sort of see, and we're looking forward to seeing the film. I mean, it's such dramatic weight loss and gain for, 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 for a project like this. I mean, was it difficult? I mean, well, that's for Dallas Buyers Club. Yes. That'll be out next year. Um, it's just what was needed for the character. Um, and yeah, I ended up losing a total of 40, 47 was lowest. But that was when I was 135 and I stand here at 160 today. And I used to walk around at 182. Um, so I'm about in the middle on the way back up and I'm liking this weight now. I have a little more leverage. In New York City, a lot of treats around, a lot of good, good food, I would think. <laughs> yeah, but New York City is actually pretty easy to, to eat well for me here. The best food actually on the planet around there, even if you're trying to eat kind of healthy. But I'm eating more now, so I'm indulging, which is, it would have been harder to be here when I was having to remain at 135, that's for damn sure. And then lastly, congratulations on your new little son. To, new little son, addition to the family. Yeah, thank you very family much. Family just keeps growing. Evolution, baby. Yeah, he's maybe, healthy. Maybe what's the best part of being a dad and to have a, a newborn at home like that? Um, well, I, I, I got a lot to say about that. I mean, having family and having children and a great wife, one thing it does specific to tonight that I'm thankful for is it, it gives me structure on the outside of my job and I got a wife and a family that I can go to work, put my head down, go into a bubble and create and not have to look over my shoulder and wonder if the homestead's taken care of because it is and I'm lucky to have that, you know.